Welcome back to the realm of inspiration. Yeah, is that right? Yes, it's right. We are officially rebranding the YouTube channel to be the realm of inspiration, so no more Golden Lightworker. And I've been dropping hints here and there all month, but fitting with today officially being the summer solstice, and fitted with the fact that I had an interview not too long ago with Graham, uh, where I got to talk about the realm of inspiration a lot, I was thinking that after the interview and at the summer solstice, which is my, actually the summer solstice, that exact date is my soul awakening anniversary, that I was going to rebrand the YouTube channel to be the realm of inspiration so that G Tina, our illustrator and resident healer of spirit, can start to make videos on the channel as well. And the realm of inspiration can really grow into a bigger group thing instead of just an isolated, Golden Light Worker. So to make room for that, I changed the name and we are officially the realm of inspiration for the Elfian realm as everything now has started to change into being directly related to the Elfian realm. I'm going to be talking about Penny Kelly's book, The Elves of Lily Hill Farm. I read this book. I was called to pick this book because I was wondering, is this an accurate communication of the elves? Are the elves accurately portrayed in this book? Did I finally find somebody who saw the elves the way that I do and wrote a book about them? Did the, do the elves finally have another source material that I can refer to as, this is another accurate communication of the elves? I have been talking about in the past what the elves aren't. Now it's time to talk about what they are and hopefully by the end of this review, we can come to the conclusion that this is because I have a very strong feeling that this is an accurate communication. So let me refer to my notes that I took. I bought this book after watching an interview that Penny Kelly did and I checked her book list. Me and the Healer of Spirit checked her book list and we found elves and we knew after Tim Wilde mentioned elves in a meditation and then finding this that came out not too long ago that the elves have been slowly making appearances to other people and it's time to talk about it. So the first thing I noticed is the quote on the back of the book. The elves at least with me have never used terms of ye and your. However, they do talk about like how to certain people they sound a little different and they tend to use a vocabulary that someone understands. And a lot of times, depending on the location of where the elves spend a lot of their time, they start to pick up human terms and human terminology to match the type of ley lines that are left on the earth. And I've never heard those terms used in one sentence at a time. Uh, but they communicate to humanity however the human understands. So they may talk to you, they can literally talk to you in any language that you understand, they use your vocabulary. And for me, probably why they don't use ye and your a lot is because that's not in my regular vocabulary, and so it's not in the bank that they would use to communicate. However, the quote feels very accurate and feels like a message that they would 100% communicate. That's the first thing I noticed. So let me read the quote. Ye are out of balance, and ye standard of living is so close to a nightmare that we are sure ye must all be asleep. That is 100% something that the elves have said to me a lot, and that is something that the elves, particularly of Joybringer and Earth Elemental, have said to me a lot. And if you go back and watch some old channelings, I'm sure they mentioned it before. They talk about the fact that we have been asleep for a long time a lot. So that felt very elfish to me. So I read this book just looking, I read the whole thing, but I read it just looking for the details of what quotes the elves are saying and certain things that she took note of. I was really searching for the stuff about the elves and I got to about chapter three by the time I made my decision about how I was going to go about this review. But there are a few things in the book that I will reference quickly before I get into what I want to do today. So my initial gut reaction is that this is an accurate communication and maybe some embellishments. And my goal is to highlight what the embellishments are, if there are any, and have an opportunity to channel the elves mentioned in the book to see what type of elves they really are. From the first three chapters alone, I could clearly identify that she can see the Elfian realm. 
that she was able to visit it through a meditative state. And this is because she took note of the and mentioned Golden Mountains slash Golden Hills. Golden Mountains are one of the major four symbols of the Elfian realm, and only somebody who has clearly seen the Elfian realm would know that there are Golden Mountains, and she refers to them quite a few times throughout the book. She It shows that she was able to access them, able, able to connect to them, and it shows that they were showing her accurately what the realm looks like. Some things about the style of the book and just the way that the elves come through to her multiple times feels very elfish. The way that they just appear, the way that they wait and offer challenge, the way that they don't sit and just dance around things because they're always straight to the point is very elfish. I do believe she mentions these beings called the Devas. And let me read specifically how she describes them. So she had a form of intelligence that manages and carries for a spe specific kind of plant. For instance, there is grape deva. They are sometimes referred to as nature spirit spirits because they embody or represent the particular forms found in nature and are responsible for the maintenance of the form in the physical world. I believe that these are elementals of the plant kingdom as they do appear exactly as the plant that they are an elemental of. I'm going to tune in and channel the elder of the Earthian elemental domain of the Elfian realm to step forth and give clarity to that, but I believe my gut intuition and based on the images that she drew into the book of the Devons, I, or the Devas, <laughs> I believe that they are uh, elementals of the plant kingdom from the Elfian realm. As she was working with the Elfian realm, it would make sense that those ones would step forth. And that was my initial reaction from the time she first mentioned Adeva. And that's what I was, that's just what I was feeling <laughs> right away. I do want to talk about the images in the book that she sketched of the elves. I... And, and I, the first thing I said in my mind and took note of when I saw this image specifically, and this one, and this one, was that they appear more dirty. And actually, <laughs> Alvi, the little guy, uh, he points out that he looks more earthy than that and that she made him look too handsome. And that was my initial reaction when I saw all of them. What I do want to take note is that the ears that are coming through are very accurate to the ears of the elementals of the earth. I was thinking maybe some might be a joy bringer, some might be an one might be an animal healer. I was leaning towards the fact that he might be an animal healer, but I don't know because I need to channel them to find out. I do like that she noted that they appear flesh-like and solid, but they appear like, not that they are. That shows that she is aware that they do come and present and present themselves as a solid figure, even though they are not solid, which also proves that she was connecting to the elves. But let me start by, I'm going to hold the book in my hand and do um, an energy connection with the elemental elder, the earthian elemental elder of the elfian realm of Divine Feminine Frequency to step forth and I'm going to hold the book and ask her to check if this is in fact energetically feeling like an accurate communication. They have done this before where I was in a store and I found a Christmas book about elves and I touched it and I instantly felt like this is negative, this is wrong, this isn't accurate right away. Uh, and I was recently that day connecting with elves very much so. So they were all around me a lot. I was starting to uh, channel for the book as well. So I was already in channeling mode when that happened. So when I picked this up, my initial gut reaction is that this is a communication about elementals of the earth, of the Elfian realm. And that was my initial, when I picked it up, that's what I felt. That's what I felt right away, and I also felt like there might have been some other elves present and around that she might not have mentioned. Working with the ley lines of the land, I feel like Harvey, I was feeling when I was reading that part that Harvey may be a warrior elf. That is was my initial reaction. Um, that maybe he might not have introduced himself as a warrior elf, but that's what I was feeling like. Just based on the energy and just the context around it, made me feel that so we'll we'll do a check let me stop eating around the bush and channel hello i am the earth elemental elder of the elfian realm 
This is an accurate communication of the elves. There are real quotes from elves in this book, and I can feel it very, very clearly. The elves that she mentioned in the book, the ones that she called attention to, the ones that worked with her, there was a understanding on a soul level for them to do work on the ley lines of the land whether it was intentionally or not is up to be determined, but they were meant to clear the ley lines of the land for a very particular reason. And it was the imprints and ley lines left on Gaia's earth that caused her to not be able to grow things as fruitful and abundant as she would like. The cosmic Elthian elementals of abundance did come through around her, whether or not she noted it in the book or paid attention to it or noticed that they were around is only something she can answer but they were present and I can feel them very present in this book as well as almost if their energy of the cosmic abundance is uh there's like a portal of it in the book in a way they came through to give abundance and they showcased and, and the elves that worked with her showcased in a way that abundance is not just money it's very fruitful Fruitfulness is another term for abundance, and it is a very accurate term for abundance. Now, I do 100% believe that the elves mentioned in this book, the main three, are elves, as I have communicated with a few of them in the past. And I'll let the communicator look at their image and call upon them by name to step forth and channel them. And I would like to give clarity that the devas are a nature spirit. They are an earth elemental of the plant kingdom of the Elfian realm. Also, the fairy realm offers elementals like that as well, but they appear very differently. The images that she illustrated are very 100% accurate to the plant kingdom, and I will transfer you over, collective, to the grape plant kingdom elfian elementals to communicate about this book and why grapes were were as significant as they were at the time in that land so if the communicator is ready she just said that she is i'll let them step forth hello i am a grape elemental oh we, as, as working with the grapes, we identified and took note of the fact that grapes stopped being as fruitful in lands, and they can actually have very high healing properties, very, very high healing properties. And the communicator wanted to, to mention something and ask a question about something, which you can do once I'm done communicating to all of you. Now, Grapes, the color frequency around grapes, the, the purple and the green, are very earthy, very cosmic, very abundant, and very ascension. Yes, grapes have the ability to offer assistance during the ascension process. They are a gift to help with ascension, and they help ascend the land as well. Their roots help dig into the land and ascend the land to a new level, a new level of being. When there is clearing of ley lines in the land, grapes can come through and offer healing and cleansing. They aid very much in ascension and also aid in the connection to the triad of earth. The triad of earth is the moon, the sun, and earth. The moon, the sun, and earth. That connection, how they all influence and affect each other, is something that grapes can help with as well. Now I'm done communicating. Bats are negative manifestations, and I, I'm very curious as to why that was not mentioned at that portion of the book. That is something that they, they mentioned to me right away. The animal healers and all the elves, but particularly the animal healers, highlighted what negative manifestations were and why they were the way that they were. And I know bats are one of them. I'm going to start with Kermotes. And... I'm going to go with my intuition based on just the outfit and the appearance and everything that he is an animal healer, but I'll let him confirm that himself. So this little guy here with the <laughs> curly hair, just something about the height. Well, the height of this guy made me feel joy bringer or earth elemental, but definitely earth elemental. Uh, I think he's an elemental of the dirt. There's something about the stick that's very traveler guide energy. And so I'm very curious. They are leaving me very questioned 
um, as to exactly what type of elves that they are. There's, he does feel very, he's a little short to be a traveler guide, but there's something about his energy that I, they, I don't know. Let's just channel them and figure it out. They have, the way that they talk, the way that they interact with her, maybe it's because they have a guide role in her life that I was feeling like they may be a traveler guide or something, this, this, or that. If they are a traveler guide, I can't channel traveler guides. I can't channel somebody else's traveler guide. That's just not what I do. But I can channel the elder. Let me start with Kermotes. So. Hello. Okay. He's, he's present. All th oh, so there, the three of them are present. Kermotes, can you identify yourself? Kermotes, divine masculine energy. He says that he is an animal healer and works directly with the earth. He's from an animal healer domain, from the animal healer domain of the Elfian realm. And he's saying that he's wanted to step forth and communicate to me, but also to the collective since the day I got the book in the mail. That was, that was a, that was a while ago. Yes, you may step through. Hello. Hi. I, the Elfian communicator hasn't noticed this communication and, and noticed us yet. And it's very lovely that she has now. As we, we tried our best to ensure that we were picking somebody who would accurately represent us. And you know, by, by the image, I, I, it's, it's very, very accurate as to what my energy appears as. I'm an animal healer, Alfian, and I work with the land. And the particular question that the communicator is asking is about the bats and the negative manifestation. The reason we didn't mention that right away, but we did mention that light and light energy and bright white light energy would repel them, was our way of letting the people know that bright light, bright white light, repels them away and they will not come around somebody who is a bright white light beacon. We can identify based on who a person is and what they've experienced, whether or not divulging the information of negative manifestations is the best course of action based on their experiences in the past. If they have a good relationship with one, we don't want to take away that joy, so we do our best to bring it to them gently and slowly start to communicate to them that they that the bats are negative manifestations. Also, we understand that as a collective group, when she was sitting down and piecing together this book, we, we understood that some people would just not be ready at the current time to hear about negative, negative manifestations, and that was not the purpose of the book. Moles are gray area, so they can be beneficial. But the purpose of the story was not about what negative manifestations are. We knew on a very, very high level that our communicator was starting to awaken and that that book and that time would be the time to really explain what a negative manifestation is. Now, we chose to step forth, the three of us, as representatives of the Elfian realm to her. She has a deep animal connection as well. And as a result of that, I stepped forth as I worked with her in a past life with animals. That and the fact that she has a green thumb, as it were, that calls upon the earth elementals. Now, we do want to highlight that negative manifestations do exist and they do exist around farmland and it happens. It does not necessarily mean that the people are negative. It could mean that the ley lines have a lot of negativity. The Lily Hill Farms were able to be cleared from a lot of negativity, so much so that it had a ripple effect on the state that Penny lives in and lived in at the time. It has a massive rep ripple effect on the country as a whole. So taking time to clear the ley lines of a land and get it ready to grow crops without any chemicals, without any interference of the 3D negative world, 
is something very beneficial that will not only benefit your land, but benefit the land around it. I would also like to communicate that we believe that our communicator should have work in the future with Penny, as she can see us clearly, and we showed her the Elfian realm. Very clearly, the Golden Mountains, as the Golden Mountains are something that a soul would remember on a fundamental level if a soul was able to visit the Elfian realm before they came into the physical form. Any soul that has a contract with the Elfian realm visited the Elfian realm, and particularly in the Golden Mountains, before they enter the physical form. Penny did, her communicator did, a lot of other people who have worked with our realm did before they entered, and being shown that is a reminder to them that they have a connection with the elves. She did have a little bit of, of trouble understanding who we were, but once she did, we know that she felt the soul connection that we do with her, and we are so happy to have helped her, and so happy that the communicator of our realm is highlighting this book as an accurate communication, because that's what it is. And I'm very happy to be an alpha part of it. And I hope you can all connect to the animal healer domain and learn much more from my fellow Elfians. I am an animal healer of the animals of the ground. I work particularly with the wolves and the foxes of the ground. I have a friend who works with the squirrels and we work together sometimes and I have branched out very, very far, and the elder of my domain loves very much so how much I've expanded my horizons to other animals and helping people as well. And she loves that I am a representative and I can show that animal healer elves can help people. That is all I have left to say. Thank you, Kermotes. Now I would like to, because Alvi is an enigma to me, so Alvi, if you can step through. Alvi, yes. Divine masculine energy. Earth elemental, I knew it. Earth elemental dirt, yep, I knew it. Step through. Hello, hello, hello. I am an elemental of the dirt. I work in tent to the dirt and that's why I have a little stick in my hand. I work and take care of the ley lines in the dirt. I work to make sure the dirt is fertile. I work to make sure that the dirt is ready to produce abundant fruits. And that's why I came forth to Miss Kelly. I worked with her, I helped her, and I obviously am very, very dirt-like. I have the green aura of, of an earth elemental, but I have a lot of dirt all over me. I have become more and more professional the more that I work with people, and so much so that I started to re resemble another elder, the Traveler Guide Elder, and he finds it very, very funny when he comes to visit the earth and, and see how we're all doing, as there are earth elementals that step forth as guides in a way, and most of them are dirt elementals. I work, work very, very deep in the soil, and when I noticed that somebody had the ability to see us, I was very, very eager to step forth and communicate. And I have felt a deep connection with, with the author of this book, with, with Penny, for multiple lifetimes. And I have watched her clear ley lines multiple times, her soul. And I am very, very pleased and very, very happy that now more people are starting to clear their own ley lines. And I hope you can call upon the elementals of the dirt because we love to help. Dirt, people think dirt and they're just like, dirt, what's dirt? Is that earth? Earth is not an element. Dirt is the element. Earth is the planet. Earth is everything. Earth is the water. Earth is the fire. Earth is the air. Earth is the snow. Earth is the dirt. Earth is, is the air. Earth is everything. Dirt is the element, not earth. Earth is what houses all of the elements. And I hope you can understand that very, very clearly. See, people can get confused and call on earth elementals looking for dirt elementals and not getting dirt elementals because that's, that's not what we are. You're calling on an earth elemental. You're calling upon the whole domain. The, the author of this book, Penny Kelly, she knows that we are elementals and she knows that that is what we do and there are certain aspects that she did not include in the book from our journey. There are certain things in the book that she made seem more fantastical but in a good way. She accurately quoted us. 
So every quote is 100% accurate. She is very good at imagery with her words and makes Sing seem very beautiful with the way that she speaks. We love the way that she speaks. She speaks so beautifully. Maybe that she spent a lot of time around us elves who we can be very poetic and and Kermotes, he's an animal healer. He sings, he sings and sings and sings a lot. And she, she witnessed that. And we love, love, love her. And we love our communicator. And I'm very pleased that our communicator is starting to communicate us. And we would love it if our communicator would call upon us again more to communicate to the collective because we have more messages to share as we have that special gift that we were able to work one-on-one -on -one with another human. Clear the dirt. Clear, clear, clear the dirt. What I mean by that is you can discharge all the negative energy that you have into the dirt. But a great way to make sure that it's it's discharging in a, in, a, in a healthy way is to put your hands up high and imagine beacons of white light coming in the spot that you're discharging your negativity so it clears and cleanses it. And we recommend that you all start gardening now more than ever, start producing your own food and start identifying what foods have benefit to you. And the plant kingdom, Elfian elementals or the devas can help you, help you, help you so much. Okay, now I'm going to call on Marlena. I am an Earthian Elemental Elfian Healer of the Water, and I work with the moisture content of the land. I answered a healer call, as it were. I am a divine feminine energy. I answered a healer call that, that water, frequency, Elfian Elementals can answer where they go to work on the land to help heal Gaia, help heal the earth, help heal the dirt, help heal the land, help heal the ley lines using water. I also can have a connection with the moon as I do work with the moisture content and how the moon affects the water within the dirt, within plants, within crops. I work one-on-one -on -one sometimes with cloud, Elfian elementals. I work one-on-one -on -one sometimes with our elder of my domain. I work sometimes one-on-one -on -one with Gaia, that angelic frequency herself. Lovely, lovely. I chose to work with Penny because I saw that she had a gift to help heal the land help heal a lot of people through her words, through her work, through everything that she does. And I saw that I would be able to ascend to a new level by working with her, by learning from her. I saw her as, a, as someone who could help teach me about humanity, help teach me about the humans that I'm helping. So it was a very nice give and take relationship where I helped her and she helped me and I was able to ascend to a new level. So thank you, Penny. I work now a lot with on the land. I don't necessarily work in the water anymore. I am a new level of water, earthian, elfian, elemental. And that is truly wonderful. I am so happy. And I would like to explain to you all some deeper things about water elementals, how we can upgrade to new levels, how we work one-on-one -on -one with dirt elementals. We work one-on-one -on -one with dirt elementals because together, us and the dirt elementals can create something wonderful. We can guide and help people who are, who are starting to do agriculture tend to the land. There are agricultural elementals, and those are of the plant kingdom of edible plants. So the ones that work with particular plants, the ones that work with, with grapes, we worked with a lot. So they came in and offered us guidance and support on how to guide Penny to grow grapes using the moisture content of, of the dirt and making sure that no chemicals were there and it was all natural liquids, while also working with, with the dirt elementals and checking in on the animals and how the animals were affecting the crops. That was the advice that we were given by our friends of the agricultural elfians of the edible plantation of the plant of the plant kingdom. They were helping guide us and we were helping guide her and now she can help guide people. And it's a constant give and take relationship. I would like to communicate something and, and we all would, all three of us would, is that when it comes to growing crops, when it comes to tending to the land, it takes effort. But first you must become acquainted with the energy. And it's the same as moving into a new space. And we had Penny do that. We had her walk the land. We wanted her to become acquainted with the energy of the land. When you're going to grow something, when you're going to, to start farming, you need to get to know the dirt that you're working with the same way you would with a new house. 
you, it needs to get acquainted with your energy because you're working with elementals. You're working with the Elfian realm. You're working with the fairy realm. You're working with the Gaia. You're working with God. You're working with the earth. You're working with cosmic elementals because you're working with planetary energy by working with the earth. You're working with the plant kingdom, the elementals of the plant kingdom, but just the plant kingdom in general. You need to get acquainted with that energy, with what you're working with. And so we ask that you call upon the earthy and elfian elementals to step forth and help you, and also the animal healer elementals as well, to step forth and help you understand, help you understand why rabbits dig the way that they do, why chipmunks are gray area, not negative manifestations, and how in the end they can help you, why moles are gray area, and not negative manifestations, and, and how they can help the land, and also how the positive polarity animals like like squirrels and rabbits are actually doing good work even if they seem destructive. You can learn all of those things by working with us. Penny did and she did very very successfully as you know if, if you read her book. It came into fruition. Her dream came into fruition and she was able to do it by work but she was also able to do it by working with the elementals and working with the elements and understanding everything that she was working with. When you start working and understanding everything you're working with, you can accomplish a lot of things. And I want you all to do that. You can charge some water in the sun if you have plants that you're keeping indoors and ones that don't necessarily like to be in the sunlight as much. You can charge water in the sun and water them with sun water and that can help them. You can do a lot of different things using water to help your plants, to help what you want to grow, but to also help you grow and ascend to new levels. Just like Penny did, just like I did, just like our communicator does. You can ascend to new levels every single day. And I want you all to. And I'm so excited to continue to work with all of you as we all ascend to new levels and help Gaia ascend. You can help Gaia ascend by simply farming a little plot of land, by creating a garden two by two feet, by creating a whole farmland, by replanting forests, by letting nature be nature, but by going into nature as it is and asking cleansing light to come in, you have the ability to do that. You just ask the Elfian Earth Elementals to cleanse an area of land. We'll all come in and do our separate jobs and clear it. So if you have a woods near you, if, if you have farmland near you, if you live in the, in the American Midwest that has a lot of farmland, the energy of the land, no matter how positive the food is, can have an effect on the food you're consuming. So why not ask for the land to be cleansed so that you and all those around you can benefit by healthy, positive foods that are of the positive polarity, but might have been influenced by chemicals, by, by negativity, by whatever energy is in the dirt. Because remember, the dirt absorbs negative energy, but it also absorbs the power of the moon and the sun and higher light frequencies. All you have to ask is for them to come through and clear it. And, I'm, and, and Alvary, he, he mentioned that to all of you. That's all I have to say for now. Goodbye. Hi. Oh, strawberries, divine feminine energy. Come through, come through. Hi, 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 hi. I've been waiting to talk. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I love my other alpha friends, but they can't talk for a long time, can't they? I have some things I want to say about strawberries. Strawberries are very interesting as they weren't always edible. They used to be edible. Yes, 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 yes. But, but before, people weren't entirely sure that they could eat them. And people started to eat them, and now people eat them all the time. There is something very particular about the shape of a strawberry and the green and the red together that holds a lot of power. That power to connect your root and your heart through the back vine within your spine, and, and, and a good vine, to help you stay grounded and feel peace in your heart. Strawberries help you connect to, to both of those, but they also help you connect to an in-between chakra right here that has a pinky light. 
as well that helps with communication. Strawberries also help you connect with Gaia and the land, and their vines have the ability to help clear and cleanse. All vine plants do. All plants that produce any vines of, of any of anything, even if they're small, even if, if they're big, the stems that go around those those edible plants like edible raspberries and, and edible all of the not not the poisonous stuff. Don't go eating poisonous things. They have the ability to clear and cleanse. And if they're taking over in, in a seemingly invasive way, that is because there is something that they're doing. But also you must be careful because plants like, like raspberries, they can become invasive and people who are connected to the negative frequency can, can give negative frequency to them to amplify the negative polarity side. So it's very important that you go and you ask an elemental of the dirt to clear under any vine plant, uh, pumpkins or whatever, to make sure that the vines that are being put into the land are the positive light that they were always meant to be. And even if they're still growing, and if they are not, that can help them grow better or that can remove them if, if they've been too invasive and, and keep them in a tamed area. So ask. That is all I have left to say. Okay, great. Uh, a lily, if there's one of, of the lily. <laughs> divine feminine energy. You're all divine feminine energy, aren't you? Please step forth. Hi! I work with lilies. Lilies have high spiritual power and are very connected to the 5D chakras and are very beneficial to have on your land if you are growing other crops as they do bring the light of purification and the 5D earth that we are trying to, to all create together to, to fruition. It helps you create an environment connected to 5D light and purification. So I highly recommend planting some lilies in your properties. That's all I have left to say. Beautiful. Um, I do want to read, because I haven't yet read her definition of elves. So I want to read it to see if this is a definition that can be used. Small human-like forms. Okay, well, I'll get to that in a second. Sometimes we refer to as nature spirits that live both on the land and in buildings but occupy a different range of frequencies, which make them invisible unless you are adept at shifting the frequency your brain normally operates at. Elves are usually quite friendly and have a great sense of humor, bordering on the mischievous. They are helpful, energetic, and if you befriend them, they intercede for you any time help is needed. That... Oh... Um, okay, so I'm going to get very nitpicky with this. They did say that there were some embellishments and some using old understandings and interpretations of things within here as it, the, the quote, they were saying very clearly that the quotes are accurate. Um, they didn't necessarily say that the definition was accurate. So for the small human-like forms, that is a good way to try and, and translate them to humans. And considering that earth elementals do have a history of being referred to as nymphs, that can be accurate, but they are very, and I guess the earth elementals and animal healers aren't as big on this, but the joy bringers are because of the experimentation. They are not human, but they do sometimes explain themselves to people by saying that they are in a way in between human and fairy, human and fairies, uh, and they are connected to us as they are from an eternal plantation, so yeah. Now, the, the in buildings, they can hang around buildings. In the Elfian realm themselves, they don't have buildings because the elfian realm is energetic it's not physical so i don't know what the in buildings is is entirely referring to i guess like for example my elfian traveler guide will stay at the house and we do have a joy bringer that will stay at the house so yes they'll stay energetically beyond the veil within a building so yeah 
Um, they range at different frequencies, which is 100% accurate, and I've never heard anybody else mention that. Dimensionally, they are different. They are technically invisible. You can see their energetic form. They are usually friendly. The mischievous is the part that it made me, like, cringe because that is part of their miscommunication that they're mischievous. It depends on what she meant by mischievous, and I would love to, to ask her what she meant by mischievous because they can be very, like, cheeky, I guess, um, in some, in some ways, but mischievous has such a negative connotation and I don't feel like it's an accurate term to describe them and I'm only, I'm getting very nitpicky here because this is actually a really good definition of them. They are helpful energies. If you befriend them, so that is pretty accurate. If you become closer with some in particular, they will help you more. Like the closer you are with them, the more that they can help you because you're helping them more. What I mean by that is that Marlena, she mentioned that her ascendant, she helped Penny ascend, that it was a give and take relationship. So the more that you work with them, they are learning from us. So the more that you work with them, they're learning about you, they're learning from you. And so they'll be more inclined to help you as the give and take relationship. It's, it's this give and take thing. The more that you work on developing your soul with their assistance, you're helping them, they're helping you, all the above. Yeah, but that concludes this, this, uh, this review and, and channeling. It, yeah, there are a few things that I guess like imagery words is what they were saying. I guess they're saying that by working with her, they, they realize that she's very, a very good speaker and she's very good at, at drawing people in with her words and she accurately communicates a lot of things. So this, that all made me feel very comfortable with stamping this as another accurate communication of the elves. And now we have two. This one and this one. But yeah, that's really as the Elfian communicator, what I'm looking for are the quotes accurate and they are. So that makes me very happy <laughs> as their communicator. And I did cry when um, the elves were mentioned in a, in a guided meditation. I started crying because people are starting to see them as their truth. So the, this makes me very happy and I can tell they're all very happy and I can hear like some of them like just like clapping and being excited and excitable. The, the humorous part is so accurate. They are very funny and they also sometimes make fun of each other. So I do recommend connecting to them if you can. And I do like that Alvary mentioned the aura of the earth elementals. Very um, important to highlight that that aura, they are green. Their aura, not their skin, their aura is green. The animal healers have a blue aura. And actually, if you look at the elder, it matches the hair of the elder. So this is the elder of the animal healers. This is the, the earth elemental. You can see it, though. You can see the similarities, actually. Let's compare with the images right now. And that concludes this video. And now we are starting on the realm of inspiration. And tomorrow, a new video is coming out way 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 shorter than this one like by a lot because <laughs> this is really long um of meet the domains so i thought in in light of finding this as an accurate communication and of all the things that it would be great to meet the domains so tomorrow stay tuned for that video where the elfian source is going to introduce the series meet the domains and within like by the end of, of June, you will have met at least, at least one domain officially. And the domain that, that these guys are from, the, the Earth Elemental Domain, will be the last one. Because um, I'm going in the order of how the Elders ascended, which is actually the order of how they are in the book. So if you want to know the order of which those videos are going to be coming out, check out the book. And the order is there. Also, check out the book. And if you... Buy the ebook or the physical copy and write a review and send me your honest review. You can get $10 off a personal channeled session where you can meet elves that you have a deep soul connection. Because uh, some of us might not necessarily have the ability to see them as clearly as Penny and I can. So 
I would love to have you meet ones that you have a deep soul connection to. So check the link in the description because that form to fill that out is in the link in the description. Also in the link in the description is a link to sign up for a session with the Healer of Spirit on the Realm of Inspiration where you can have a healing session with um, a child of Gaia. So with that, sending you love, light, and inspiration from the Realm of Inspiration. Stay inspired, beautiful souls. And